All right, do not mind this music you're hearing in the background. It's annoying. But... Sorry, something was installing and it just made a bar right up here. You can't see the bar, but but it it was there. Anyways, me and Diva here. Um, me and good old DVD. I taught her a few new tricks. Like if you would do this. <laughs> Alright, well, she didn't do it, but whatever. <laughs> Um, you already take her, aren't you, girl? Alright, but you click the title, and if you didn't click the video, or you forgot what the title is, just tap the screen, like, and just title right there. But, it's like a Batman movie. It was awesome. I was expecting something completely different. But, like, I'm a, I like how it's connected to the comics, connected to all of the movies. I like that jab at Suicide Squad they got there. And then that jab at, um, the 1960s show. I actually have that movie. Um, I mean, it's okay. I was rewatching this 1966 movie the, a few months ago. And it was like... figured out the reason they have that pop and whatever. None of their, like, they don't even make contact. It's like, if I, if I were in that show, I, they'd be like, and I'd be like, just pow. And sometimes it seems like they forgot to add it throughout the movie. And so you're just kind of like, your fist did not make contact with that dude's face. And no matter how big the budget, some movies always movies always have mistakes. It's like a okay, video game and a glitch. If you haven't run into a glitch in your favorite video game, you clearly haven't been playing it as much as you thought. There's at least one or two glitches in a big game. If your favorite ga video game is a game like... I'm completely out. But... I'm, I'm getting ahead of the point here. Um, I love the subtle jabs at everything. I could not find a single error in that movie. I mean, I wasn't looking, but... You know, it's just... It was awesome. But... Basically... This is gonna have tons of spoilers. So just skip off the video, okay? Alright, so basically, I really love how all of it culminates together. Um, it seems more like a friendship message, or a relationship message, than a full-scale movie, but that's also how Lego Movie was. And I love the crap out of that movie. But, um, basically, I loved Will Arnett's voice acting it was always deep, he was just brooding the whole time, and he starts brooding to a point where it's actually comical, and then there's like a, a brief period of time where you forget that they're made of plastic, or in this uh, situation, computer generated code. Stupid light. There's no light. There's light. There's no light. Light. <laughs> but basically, I just really loved what they were doing in that movie. And Diva just heard Zach at the door, and now she's like, mm -hmm. But basically, I just love this movie. I love Lego. In fact, I think you've seen a few of my Lego Batman stuff. And then my dad went all out. We were, like, obsessing with this movie. Tax money finally came in. So we got a lot of money from the tax or whatever. Like, at the start of the year, we were just, like, 
we got to be more careful with how we spin stuff. But starting four days ago, they just won't stop buying stuff, and it's awesome. I mean, like we get more, we've gotten more food. Just, we can barely afford food up until four days ago. Crazy, right? Um, so we, you occasionally use it to crack out, get you know, spice up things. Um, but my, you could tell my dad was anticipating this movie or whatever because he got himself. So, well, you know. It's, he got it for himself, but it's going to become a family thing because everyone's kind of into it. This little bat cave. This Lego thing. We've got these Batman over here. Bat boat, penguin, little penguins. Um, this Bruce Wayne over here. Flip out into Batman. I find this pretty cool. Um, it's just awesome. I just lost my dog. Mmm. <laughs> Where'd you go? But this movie was super self self aware. Um, I love Michael Sarah as um, as Robin because mm, like up until like I'd say the Scott Pilgrim movies, Robin has. Mm, because up until the Scott Pilgrim movie, it seemed like Michael Sarah just kind of played himself, you know? Um, I'm going to repeat that. I'm, my phone sometimes messes up. Up until the Scott Pilgrim movie, it seemed like Michael Sarah was always playing just one character. So, it's really nice to see that. Um, of course, that one character I kind of liked for a little while. Um, and so, it's nice to see him doing some other stuff. Um... Well, more like hear him because voice acting. <laughs> mm, this video is getting awkward. I don't even know what's going on. Um, and the whole like fly, Robin, fly. Like he's just being super awkward. But it it felt like it had the same culmination in the end that the Lego Movie had with the whole parenting or whatever. I don't know. Except this time it wasn't a live action thing. This movie was just completely CG. Some points seeming maybe stop motion, but I'm pretty sure it would just been easier just to make it all CG. The opening plane scene. Um, speaking of the opening scene, you guys have watched the movie. Um, I got this. Tea with you. I got a bunch of cool sets. You went down, Diva. Um, and so I got a bunch of cool sets. I got. Oh, I'm going to get this over here. The Joker. download Skype? Yeah, hold on. But, yeah, so I got this thingy. The account working? Oh, I don't have an account yet. I gotta get that set up. Oh, okay. Um, and then I got Batman with the bomb. I don't know if you can see everything up here. Um, and then I also got the little poly bag. I think that's what they're called. I got these two from character, um, for minifigure packs. The calculator and Red Hood. But now I'm confused about who the Red Hood is because in the Lego movie, he's just kind of there. So he's not Robin or Joker. So I'm thinking here, well, who is that? Um, and then I also got the Catwoman motorcycle and bank set or diamond store set that came with um, Batgirl and Robin. So, yeah, it's great. Um, and, yeah, you'll never see me doing a review on Legos. I mean, I might briefly mention them, but I'll never do a full-on review for Legos. Um, it's just kind of a weird thing. And then, apparently, it seems kind of like I would do be cl doing clickbait. 